Hello, and welcome back to the 24th Strawberry Jam. We are here in a very, very, very sandy place with a big ominous black wall off in the distance. We have Derelict by Fornan. Um, last time we had dinner with Grandma and Data, neither of which were um, um, the best map in the world. Hopefully this one will probably be a bit better. We have some stuff. We have some coal, we have some sticks, we have a crafting table, we have a book and we have a Fornan in the chat. Excellent. Derelict by Fornan for Strawberry Jam 24. Who cares? Nobody makes jam maps on time these days, do they? No oh, harm. Um. Three wool. Blah blah blah. Standard rules. Have fun. Yes. I shall try. Well, we have enough uh, stuff to make a pick, so I guess that should probably be the first thing. Oh, I am also tempted for a sword, because there are things about. Well, we could go with nothing and see if we find anything else further up ahead. Okay, there is... Hello, hello to cottage cheese in the chat as well. There is no great indicator of where to go first, so I guess I'll just head towards the nearest interesting looking structure, which is this one. I saw someone say in the Discord that they, they thought the screenshot of this map reminded them of, um, of Star Wars, and I assume they mean Tatooine. And yes, I can see that. Did those just naturally spawn, or did they come from a spawner? Because they spawned when I was still quite a long way away, so I can see either of them being the truth. We have a coal, we have one more cobble, we have a few sand. Let's jump back out of there. Make some torches. We should probably go with the sword first. That seems the most sensible. This map is 1.14.3 by the way. We're right up to date on version. Hence we have granite half slabs here. Okay. Uh, spawner over to the left. Spawner over to the right. Let's plonk down a torch and head back and try not to get flanked and to only attack things in one direction. Okay. There are modified loot tables. These guys drop the raw rubbish. Torch. A few more arrows. One more piece of cobblestone. Good. We can make a stone pick. Um, if I don't press the wrong button, I'll immediately move it back off the hotbar. Excellent. by the name of the map and the amount of stuff we have so far, I doubt we're going to be needing to grab too many chests um, in terms of making base and storing stuff. Skelly. Skelly. Okay. Furnaces were not trapped. They were often in a little side room, so I figured they might be, but they are not. Okay, next spawner. I think I end up the staircase. Let's pick the torch back up again. Hopefully the lighting isn't too terrible. I have not got that many torches. Okay, okay. 
Okay. You do not have the chest plate, so I think you're a reinforcement spawn. Oh dear. I should have brought some blocks. Let's grab some blocks. We have a guardian riding a slime. Okay. We can do that. Um, there is a crossbow. That is interesting. I think that's the first crossbow in a CTM I found. There are not that many 1.14 maps yet. Okay. Let's not actually bother with the Guardian Slime. We don't need to kill it. And it's just going to do some thorns damage. Um, nothing of interest visible outside the window. One of them actually dropped their chest plate, so that's where it. Let's get the crossbow on the bar. Got a few arrows. We can potentially cook the rabbit, but we also have a bunch of already cooked rabbit. So let's go back out the way we came in. I know there was another way out slightly further up, but we can go around. And there's a chest up there. Okay, we can do a little bit of parkour up to there. Coal, more sticks, more cobble. And a skelly. Really need to staircase up here, but I could use the blocks anyway. Where did the skelly go? Okay, we did not yet have a shield. So there we go. It is a bl blast furnace, I think. Smoker. Still not got the two kinds of furnace. Well, three, I guess. There's the old one still. The two new kinds of furnace. Properly differentiated in my head what the textures are. Okay. We got a couple grindstones. We got another chest. More coal, more cobble, more ammunition. Another spawner. Um, what the heck? What are you doing down there, buddy? Yeah, the smoker just cooks food slightly faster than a regular furnace. So it's um, not the greatest item ever. It's probably not as useful to carry around the, as a furnace, because the furnace can do more while taking up less inventory space. But as a thing to put in your base, it is probably very, very nice. Okay, we have a regular furnace again. Some more coal. Another chest, another crossbow. This one is very, very much broken. We could repair them. I think you need the grindstone for that now. But it might be better just to leave one as a spare, just in case. Okay. Is there anything of use down here, or is it just another way out? I think it's just another plain way out. Yeah. And there's a spider, so I don't particularly want to take that way out. Let's go this way. Okay, ordinary spider. Come on in. 
No string. We could make a regular bow or a bed if we had some string. Okay. Some speed potions. They re really add the inventory repairing. Okay. Oh, why is the grindstone still a thing then? Why? I quite liked the grindstone. And I did not like these phantoms. I guess I can load the second crossbow. I could potentially rapid fire. Okay, um, what do we do about the phantoms? Because there are a lot of them. And they're just going to follow me around. With no useful drops, presumably, unless the drops have been changed, which they might be. Just like an MHC, but with less pair talking about anime noises. Ugh. Ugh. No. Cease and desist. This is not good. I think I've gone far enough away where they're out of range and stop bothering me. Here's a zombie village, eh? It has a slightly odd texture, which I did not recognise right away. But no, no custom texture, it is just a rare vanilla one. Okay, creepers, creepers, creepers. Gotcha! I don't want as much ammunition as I can get, so let's kill this one as well. Okay. Um, let's waste one coal cooking up that food. And hunt down a couple of rabbits while we're waiting. Or maybe a spider. Will you drop string? Yes, you will. We can make a regular bow. Or I can try and maybe save up for a bed, perhaps. Get back here. I need the food. And you didn't drop any. Okay, that was, um, that was odd. The block decided just to take its sweet time actually dropping on the ground. Okay, we have a ladder. Nothing from that spider. This phantom spawner is quite fast as well. It's already spawned another lot. And it was close to spawning another lot. Okay, uh, we have a witch somewhere to take the stuff. Um, that is a good offhand item. On killing a mob gains strength 4 for a very short duration. And that is a witch.
Mist. Okay. Reload the crossbows. Kill the witch. No useful drop, just some more spider eyes. Which are really rather rubbish. Okay, what is what is not in here? What else is there? Because this appears to probably be the way to go. There is a wall. See a wall in the distance. There is of course all that stuff back over there. I don't know whether that's important. Um, we have a large walled off area. Not have up to find in this version. I cannot zoom. There is a wall over there. There is a ravine over there with some stuff in it. Another building down there. Okay, let's. Um. Did we go over there? I think we did. I believe we did. Did we? We went over there and. In like that area, I think. I think we've gone over there. Spawner! Just another regular husk spawner. Down you go. You have a drop. Yeah, that was the first building. I thought so. Okay, a whole bunch of coal, a whole bunch of sticks equals a whole bunch of torches. There we go. Now we don't have to skimp on them. Do some nice destroyed walls by combining them. Um, walls and iron bars. That's a like, cool effect. Okay. Try and get the full damage to help me out a little. Run around the back. Sweeping attack them. There goes the sword. Okay. Yeah, we have more than enough stone. We can just make another one. Plop that down. Rebar sort of look. Yep. Um, we just used it up all the sticks and making torches. Well, that was silly. I guess we'll just be whacking things with the pickaxe until we find some more sticks. Hopefully there are some in this chest. There are not some in this chest. Come on. Down you go. What have we down here? We have a much larger room. Okay, we have staircase there, staircase there. Good sticks, cool. Um, sand. Crafting table. We do get attack boosting. That is a thing as well. So 
also been a while since I actually had a map with items with abilities on it. At least it feels like it's been a while. Okay, there's another one of those Guardian Riding Slimes. Another four of those Guardian Riding Slimes. That's a few more than the first spawner put out. Okay, um... Back down. Reload. Get rid of the spawner first. Okay, a brake line of sight. Let's use these pillars. Let's momentarily forget how crossbows work. Back here. Reload. Why the guardians? Have so much health. And I should be killing those to get the strength buff and then attacking you. That would be better. Come back here. And die. Yeah, if I keep these slimes around, I can just kill one, get the momentary strength buff, and then kill other stuff. So I don't mind if these little guys stick around and follow me. Okay, let's do that. Was there anything else up in this box? Did we even look in this box? No, we didn't. Reload. Okay. I'm not going to be that resource starved. There's not too much in each box, but it is raw materials, so you can actually do several tool creations with each box. Okay, you down. Sure, let's burn another coal. Not optimal efficiency, but close enough. Okay. Get back here. I want to hit you with the strength. There we go. Take less damage from thorns that way as well. Um, pop you in there. Cool. What do we got over here? We got a spawner. Do not see any chests up there. Nothing over on that wall. Okay, grab you, pick the smoker back up again. Next room, next room, next room. Well, that looks like a fleecy box. Okay, we have a pressure plate. Um, spawners to the left, spawners to the right. The plate is a command block. Okay, it's just a jump plate. Whoa! There's a bit more of a jump than I was expecting. Hey there!
Off the platform you go. How many do we have? We have three. We shall take one. Okay, we already have two grindstones. They do not have durability. So we don't need to pick up any more. Even if they were useful, which they're not really. I guess we can strip enchantments off of things if we get useless enchanted gear. But we probably won't be able to do too much with those levels anyway. Hello. Kill the slimes first for their strength buff, and then take out the rest. Spawned another two! That is fine. We have another crossbow. Can't need quick charge. Loading up four crossbows at a time is starting to get a little, a little ridiculous with how long the reloading takes. Or I could just, you know, not use four at a time. That would work as well. Oh, well, we got one hit. Spawn of spawn random things? Where did the creepers come from? There might have been a spawner trying to spawn multiple different kinds of mob. All the creepers might have come from somewhere else entirely. Okay, why am I getting blocks to climb up there with? I can just do this again. Jump out of range. One thing I've noticed is there appears to be a fairly recent trend of quite a lot of people using these pads which give you jump boost and slow falling. This appears to be becoming a thing. This is like the third map out of the previous four to have jump boost plates in it. So that's an interesting trend. It's quite an easy way to introduce more verticality into your area. And slow falling is a new enchant, and new things are interesting, so I can certainly see why it's a thing. But it's a thing. Um, let's plonk down another one of these, because we're out of food again. This rabbit really doesn't last that long. 
got to make another sword as well. Got a random fish from one of the guardians. Sure, we'll take a random fish. Um, chunk the prismarine. Spider eyes. I doubt we'll need. Guess I'll take the slime blocks, but I'm not certain what I'll do with them. I don't think I need the spare slime balls though. Um, we don't need two random terracotta, one random granite. Um, I could probably repair these two. Do that, but I kind of wouldn't want it as a spare. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Hoover up the rest of the XP. Again, don't know if that'll even be useful. Not sure if we got enchanting books or enchanting table, but maybe those will be useful. Okay. I think... Whoa. Okay. That's a cool piece of scenery. Okay, which direction is more likely to be the monument? No idea. Let's just go this way and hope for the best. Okay, we have some more phantoms. Is there any reason to even deal with this spawner? I think it's just to stay away from its spawner. There's no chest over there. Let's just give it a wide berth from now on and ignore it. Anything up here? Not particularly, just some more of a huge wall. Is there any reason to go on top of the huge wall? There's a couple of spawners up there. Guess it'll give us a good look at what's actually inside. Let's make some blocks. I hear a hmm. People are, people are humming. Oh boy, um, <clears throat> this reminds me a lot of the light blue slash green library area of Galaroth, with how recent that was and how kind of similarly this is structured. And um, if how many times I failed to that area is any indication, this is not going to go well. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, I think we can. I think we can all agree that this is this is not the monument. Okay, I think that's just another stay away from it and leave it alone spawner. That one though is right by a staircase, so we might have to actually engage with that one. Okay, uh, kind of do not want to tackle with that with a wool on me. Would rather try and locate the monument. Okay. Break that and run away. Okay, I think this random inland black wall of doom surrounding the map is just a very pretty looking world border. Because it appears to be on every side of the map. Let's go and take a closer look at it anyway. Just because it looks cool. 
There's also clearly world painter terrain. I can uh, I can tell rapidly because it's a gem map created world painter terrain when I see it. I know I have made a very very similarly looking desert in presumably a very very similarly performed manner. Yeah, that's just a random, massive, black, but vaguely interesting looking wall of death to act as a world border. Cool. It's like glass. Interested to know if this is glass, because it is, then they've definitely improved the, um, the rendering engine for translucent blocks. Yeah, that's glass, alright. Either this computer is considerably better than the one I was looking at at the time, or the game engine has significantly improved, but, um... When I tried to make an area once before with walls with that many transparent blocks in it, it was a lot laggier than this is. So this is uh, this is cool. I have a normal world border when you can have a massive storm cloud. Fair enough. Okay, that isn't the monument. That isn't the monument. Um, okay, that's Cyan Wall. And also set spawn point, apparently. Which is a thing. We probably don't need to make a beds then. I did also notice the bamboo in that area, which is cool. So that is another block I've not yet seen in a CTM. All we need now is the scaffolding. I do, I do love me a good block of scaffolding. I've messed about with scaffolding, and scaffolding is cool. Potentially rather dangerous to use, but cool. I took a whole bunch of uh, scaffolding across to an end city, and that did go rather well. I do a lot of vertical. Vertical plays with scaffolding. Okay. This thing is clearly hollow because I hear noises inside of it. Where is the entrance? It is round on this side. We have a chest. We have a spawner. Down with the mobs! Okay, break the spawner. Another crossbow, some more rabbit, some more arrows, some more sticks and coal. Okay, this is, um... This is starting to get ridiculous. <laughs> with, the, with the amount of crossbows I have on the bar. Bar is literally just going to be full of crossbows. Okay, you are kind of in the way, so... Let's do that. And then maybe try and ignore them. The derelict. Let me quickly check that if I may. Okay, this is the monument. Um, the advancements pane seems to being, be instead being used not as a tree, but instead of an indicator of where your spawn point is currently set, for the previous advancement has been cleared. So you can only have one at a time, and it shows where you currently are, which is an interesting use of that advancement pane, which I have not seen before.
Hey, there's the scaffolding. Good, we do get to see that too. Hello, scaffolding. Let's take all the spare ones I can get my hands on. There was bamboo down in that area as well. And we have string. We could make more scaffolding. Okay. Um, we have a monument. Looks like it's going to be orange, cyan, and black. Here is orange. Okay. We now have speed three. Um, we have a map. It doesn't really tell us anything much we didn't already know. We've found orange already, we know this is the monument. We know San is over there because we've been and stood on that wall. But that is, that is a map. I'm not sure I wanted the speed three. I think that's just going to make it more likely that I fall off of stuff and look like an idiot. But never mind. go with it. There's a cool monument. Okay, more spiders I can kill for more string. Which I can potentially make more scaffolding. Well, I think this is some in-depth, kind of, sort of-ish game design principle. You've made the monument kind of hidden out the way in a little ravine-ish corridor, and the first thing you'd see is probably not that and probably the wall. And you're not sure what's around that corner. I can't see what's around that corner exactly from here. There might be the way to the next area or something else back through there. This might be a tunnel. I think at least I was, and I suspect average player, muck average player sin might be more inclined to head over there first and over there second. Especially if uh, TJ did the same thing. Admittedly, that's only um, that's only a survey of two, so it's uh, probably not the most scientific deduction ever made. But there we go. Okay, we have staircase to get back on top of the wall. If you want a slightly better look. We have staircase down. If you want to be knocked off ledges by mobs. Speedy mobs. Laggy speedy mobs. Okay, yep, you guys are quite quick and quite annoying. Fortunately, we can kind of rapid fire arrows at them. So we have that. Okay, a break of the spawner. 
Another smoker, more coal. Um, we should probably leave some stuff in a box. That might be wise. Let's leave a crossbow. Let's leave some of the coal. Um, we have permanent speed three, so these two potions are now entirely useless. Um, let's drop one of the grindstones. We don't need to be carrying that book around. All that. Keep inventory is apparently on. Okay, that's fine. I guess I'm just dropping stuff that I don't need in the box then, rather than stuff I don't want to lose. Um, and we'll see what happens. Okay. We got some ranged mobs which are not blaze or skeletons, and that is minorly exciting. What enchantments do they have? Is it quick charge? Is it. Well, it's clearly not scatter shot. Otherwise, that would be apparently obvious. Piercing seems unlikely. It could be a regular bow enchant, it could just be power. Not sure, not sure, not sure. Did that just come from the chest or did one of those drop it? Quick charge three. Um, can you do this? It removes the enchantment, right? You still need an anvil. Well, we'll use it for a little while, for like 18 shots or something. Okay. And of course that won't actually show up in the menu because it gives me it and then immediately clears it again. Or just puts it into a menu that I cannot see. One or the other. No shields here, no skeleton spawners in the map. That's kind of cool. Don't think I need it. All the other crossbows on the bar, now I have quick charge three. At least until that one runs out. Okay, he loot spider. Whoa, no, 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 no. I did not want an extremely fast baby husk. That is, uh, that is not good at all. Yes, I'm breaking the map by looking in a menu too closely. Cool, cool. There's level 30. What are we going to do with it? Probably not a lot. Okay, grab the stuff. Cook the fish as well. And hope we don't run out of food. Because if the husks do not drop anything, we may start running out of food. Also, apparently there are more phantoms. So, um... Lovely. We have a chest! Uh, when taking melee damage applies, slowness 3. Okay, I think I prefer the one we have. If only maybe slightly because... Phantoms are not going to be overly affected by slowness. Oh, 
Okay, I'm not even sure if they are. Are they? I've got no idea. Let's test it, I suppose. You get the effect, but does it actually do anything? Does it make any notable difference to their flying speed? I doubt it somehow. Okay, that boat was already running out. Gotcha! Strange. I thought slowness only really applied to things that were actually moving along the ground, but maybe I'm wrong. And the phantoms drop stake. So that's a thing. Might have to either check the wiki or do some experiments on actually Proving whether or not that is a thing. Because I could realistically believe both that it is or that it isn't. Again, slowness is not going to make a jot of difference against creepers. Is the creeper moving quicker or is it just being pushed along by the zombie? This is being pushed along. Okay, okay. I think the slowness is applying to all nearby mobs, not just the one that actually hits me. So, yeah. That is what the wording says. To make another sword or two. Like that. Uh, let's make an axe as well, why not? Probably won't be useful for too much. Okay, a random creeper. Down you go. Okay, uh, we have some mobs. We can get the creeper to blow up all of these. That would be rather helpful. And indeed it was. We can also do... Aha! Scaffolding. So that's cool. I'm not sure how useful it'll actually be, but scaffolding is a new and interesting thing. Pop down that smoker again, a couple more of those. Let's maybe not let anything build up quite so much this time. Okay, okay. Grab you. Aha. that way. This way. Not that way either. Let's just do this. Aha. 
instantly bridge. Well, not instantly, but quicker than placing each and every block by hand. Why don't we just put the smoker back over here? There we go. Just gotta remember to jump on it and not try and run through it because I'll probably just fall off of it. And those mobs are all confused by the scaffolding, which is even better. And they're gonna shoot each other off of it. Or just kind of get stuck. Okay, mobs are confused by scaffolding. Good to know. Reload. Yes, 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 I'll take all of this, thank you very much. Actually, crafting table, string, bamboo, more, more, and more glorious scaffolding. Okay, and the path finally splits. Yep, my creeper is definitely moving slightly quicker than usual. Not as quick as the zombies, but quicker than a standard creeper. Okay, cool, you can... Okay, they explode quicker as well. Okay... Scaffolding not actually quite as good at filling in gaps in the floor because you need a block underneath it to place the first scaffold. So one block gaps it is not actually quite as good at. Okay. That is upwards. Not the correct direction. I wish to go horizontally, not vertically. Down from there. At some point, I'm going to run out of arrows, and that will be unfortunate. Jump. the cross. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh boy. Too many phantoms. Waste all of my arrows fighting them all. I've only got a stack, half a half a stack. I have less than a stack. Ugh! Stop spawning. Go! Oh. 
Okay, there is a chest on the next rooftop over there. Um, we can drop down and build scaffolding back up. Bamboo is actually a decent deterrent against bees. They cannot swoop through it very easily. Kind of get stuck. So if I stand kind of around here ish, I'm safer. But still not safe. <laughs> Following me. Get out of here! And come down! Too many phantoms from a single spawner. It is kind of insane. Oh, upwards. Okay, what do we got? We have an iron sword. That is quite cool. We have a bunch more arrows. We have being juggled by phantoms. We do not need these. Okay, where exactly do we go next? Need to find more husks to kill for more food. Um, there is a chest. At least I thought I saw one. There's a spawner down there. Um, what's down below this floor? A room. That's what. A room with not a whole lot in it. Nothing, in fact. Swap out for the repaired chest plate. I guess we'll burn a coal on three. It's not particularly efficient, but we have a whole bunch of coal at this point. Smoke it is kind of perfect, bugless, flawless game. Ten years they've had to perfect this. Ten. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything much down there either. Um, this one has a couple of way downs in it. We can drop down here, we can go across here. Um, let's just do that. Okay, we have a double chest. We can take the slowness and then not. Okay. Good luck with that. Whoop. You guys do not know how to properly use scaffolding, and apparently neither do I. It can nudge me off of it though, which is annoying. Um, Let's drop time to cheese it and just fight them. Hmm. We've 
kind of run out of food. How can they nudge me off the ladder from about four blocks up? Also, what the heck ladder am I on about? It's a scaffold. Okay. Um, can you burn bamboo? You can. But it really, really doesn't last that long. Fine. Still more efficient than using up a coal. There's lots more bamboo around. And get a whole bunch more from over there if we need to make a more scaffold. Hmm. That's an interesting little thing which just happened. Did you catch that? Did you catch what just happened? I took damage from landing too hard and it slowed down all the nearby mobs. That is potentially something I could take advantage of a little. Deliberately take half a harder fall damage and save a whole bunch of being attacked by mobs damage. Well, you'd kind of have to make a three block stack and jump up on top of it and then jump down in order to achieve that. Which uh, is not the quickest thing to do. I'm, um, I'm like 99% certain I didn't already get anything from this box. There's just, there's just nothing in it. Alright then. Sure. Sure! Empty chest! This area is probably going to take me just as long as the similarly looking one from Galaroth did as well. Empty chests! Down you go. Yeah, having speed 3 makes it much easier to strafe those, doesn't it? That took a second to register. I don't actually have any more string. Why am I picking up all of this stuff? I can't currently do anything with it. Apart from use it as fuel, I guess, but... Okay, it's about a... It isn't a spider jockey, it's just perspective. Also, this area isn't really as big as it seems, because most of these rooms actually contain nothing. So the area is bigger than it initially... smaller than it initially appears. 
Okay, we have more of these. Can these attack through scaffolding? Not actually sure. They most certainly can. Makes sense. Um, we are out of food. Okay. Let's probably just swap back to that one again. Okay, uh, what do we do about the current food situation? No, we don't have any. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> we kind of need to find another husk spawner. And then sit and grind it for a while for food. Also need to make another pick, because I just noticed this one is out of durability. Cool. Um I guess I'm not too worried about dying, seeing as keep inventory is on, so let's just charge in there and break that. Maybe I should be trying to play this thing faster. Because I don't have speed 3. I might just be playing this area too slowly. TJ probably had more success. His place file is uh, naturally faster than mine. Okay. Yeah, this isn't this isn't gonna go well. It didn't. Respawn. a few more bits of food up here. There's first death. Hello, hello in the chat, Rector. I did enjoy the breaking spawners and seeing the bar up at the top of the screen as you broke them part of your map, Rector. It was, uh, it was alright. Oh yeah, you said he found this place first, and he must have immediately done it, rather than, um... I guess that's, um, that's now three out of three people who found this area before finding the monument. And two out of three people who did it straight away rather than bother trying to find the monument first. So yeah, the um... Nope! Um, thanks again, Minecraft, the most foolish game of flawlessness for letting me eat the food after I had died. It's a, um, it's a thing. Again, ten years, ten years this game has been in existence. Just a further reminder. <coughs> Dodge the mobs! 
Eat the food. Should probably reload the crossbow. Hup. Defeat the creepers, hop over here. Um, this isn't even the right way. Hop back over here. Grab the rest of the spare scaffolding. Bridge this way. We're going to use up most of the food by the time we get back. Probably shouldn't be sprinting. Um, that was the pick that was totally broken. Stop trying to build upwards, build across. Climb all the way back down. Okay, we have creepers, we have creepers. We have guardians from above. If you could not blow up the chest, that would be fantastic. Okay, um... <clears throat> there were enchanted books, but they went kablooey. So that's a thing. Um... Should probably have had more inventory space available. Swap that back out for that sword. Where exactly are these guardians coming from? Somewhere above. Um, I need to hit that side of the block. Across here. Let's dodge around, hide behind the spawner for a bit. Retreat. Uh, jump across this way. Yeah, playing the area a little bit faster is better. I played it. I played it yesterday. I've, it's, it's already done. I've already done it. Rexer, I played it. It happened yesterday. You, you missed it. There's a stream archive. I. It's a. It, it's. It, it would. It was a map. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just broke stuff and cheated my way through the parkour in traditional honeydew style. Up. Okay. Blow up the stuff. I managed to do the jump from the end rod onto the block once, and then was confronted by the corner jump around two blocks onto a ladder and then just kind of gave up. Spectator mooded my way to the button. Hit it. Wasn't sure whether or not it was the end of the map. Went into the teleporter again and that worked. Ended up back at like the first area again and I think totally balked the map after that. It was a thing. It was a um it was an experience. There's an anvil. There are some books. There are some cool bow enchantments. Seeing as I do not remember a boss, I'm going to assume it didn't. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh... I did like the whole you break spawners and the bar at the top fills up with how many spawners you've broken mechanic. That was a good concept, but... I wanted to see that again. But frankly, I'd be glad if I didn't see anything else. And I like the humour. The humour was good as well. Why did I just do that? I can do that. There we go. That's much better. Quick charge three. Piercing one. That ought to help out a little. Ooh. And I mean, I did read the description of your map afterwards and it said to don't play if you enjoy having fun. So, I mean, I guess... It is slightly better making an awful map if you admit it's an awful map. Is there infinity for crossbows? I thought there was. I don't know why I thought there was. I assume you have tested it and there definitely isn't, but I thought there was. Okay, where's the way further down? Or across? Right here. Back up again, or over here. Whoa. Yeah, ow, okay, yeah. First jam maps are usually, well, first maps are usually bad anyway. If you make it in two days, and I could tell there was some heavy command block, command blockery going on, it is it is fully understandable. What did I actually put it on the list? I can find the thing in a very short space of time. Hold on. Uh, let's not spell this wrong. Let's not do random stuff in the middle of stuff. I'm going off at a tangent again, I'm sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to look up where I put it on my spreadsheet of review scores. It, it is somewhere. It is somewhere near the bottom, but I'm not sure whether it's actually at the bottom. I don't think it's at the bottom, and that's where I'm looking it up. Yeah, no, it's joint bottom with Tomb of the Sun, which was made by two people and wasn't a jam map, and they probably took much longer. So I'm going to say Tomb of the Sun is worse. So, no, it's... It wasn't even the worst map I've played recently, so you have that. Um, where am I supposed to be going from here? Apologies for becoming very badly sidetracked as well, by the way. I'm supposed to be playing this map, not talking more about something that I did yesterday. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go from here? We could just randomly look around other rooms and try and find interesting spots. Okay, we could try and spiral staircase down one of these pillars. 
See, I'm thinking the wool is probably down at a very low level. This room just has creepers in it. There we go. It was the piercing one coming in handy a couple of times. And still. Cool. Didn't think piercing one was going to be very good when I first heard about it on paper, but uh, it is. It is surprisingly useful. Partially because, even with piercing level 1, if you hit something, your arrow travels through and you get to collect it, instead of your arrow disappearing as soon as you hit the mob. So you burn through arrows much less quickly with any level of piercing. And that is good. Okay, let's have a look through and try and see if we can see anything interesting. Not really. Not from here, anyway. Let's just go all the way down to the bottom. Reload. More reloads than your average Zigbar boss battle. That is a that is a reference. Not as obscure as some of my references, but that is a reference. What do we got? We got another scarcely populated room, because there are too many rooms in this area. And one cannot possibly hope to populate them all in 72 hours. Going down. Okay. I just kind of sprinted straight across that gap. What have we got down here? We can run along, we can see the bottoms of each and every tower. Is there even going to be anything down here? There might be nothing on this low level. Just because of the reason it's so easy to get to each of these rooms. There's a random skelly. Let's kill the random skelly for his arrows. Yeah, there's nothing this low down. Okay. Uh, I guess we just pick another random tower and go back up again then. The arrow is strafe. Okay, no arrows from that one. Um, let's just try and pick a tower close-ish to the middle of the area where something is most likely to be. There's a floating pane of glass. Well, two technically. But, uh... There's another one. Um, we need to make another pick again. 
me a crafting table. We do not have stone. This is not good. Hmm. Um. <clears throat> we now have a problem. <laughs> I thought we had some stone. We definitely did at one point, but it has apparently vanished. So I guess we have to scaffold back up. That is sideways. That is also sideways. Upwards. Yeah, again, it's 72 hours. You're probably not going to get all of the weird floaty bits, even if you spent 72 days. Much less 72 hours, so... Whatever. Okay, we have bamboo, so that is the way of being stuff. And it is just a tiny bit too far. Okay. Um, we have more vindicators. Uh, let's play the dodging stuff game until we can break the spawners. They can all just fight one another. And kind of catch a very small break by leaping up there. Spawners are down. Don't know if there's anything on this platform. There apparently is. Okay. We have a whole bunch of stuff and a whole load of arrows to strafe. Reload. Okay. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Hey! There's another dropped quick charge three. Yep. Cool. Derelict kind of like means abandoned in disrepair. Baron. Words like that. It's like Desert Ruins is definitely, definitely derelict. Yeah, abandoned, typically. I don't think I've actually heard of a derelict ship, but like a ghost ship or something that's crashed, got in itself beached and then... Uh, makes sense. Okay, there goes those two, jump across, break the spawner. Hide behind the block. Strafe back and forth while reloading. Okay, 
Okay, where did this fool come from? Where are all these other ones coming from? Above. Um, sure, feather falling one. None of that stuff is overly helpful. Okay. Uh, let's. I'm not sure if we can manage to scale that thing. Okay. Um, yeah, that was a bad decision. Let's collect them all and try and climb up and fail. Okay, well... Um, the fleecy box is not over there. So we know that. Okay, uh, did we put any spare stone back in this box over here? We did not. Um... Also, why are we not using the iron sword? We should be using the iron sword. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I do not need any time saving hints. I should be fine. Though I'm, uh, this most definitely is not a one-stream map. We're going to be going into next time anyway, so... I don't think it overly matters how long I spend. How many arrows do we have now? Still about half a stack. We're breaking even. That is good. Kind of follow the bamboo, really. There's definitely bamboo and places we have to go to, so. Follow the green, and I think we should be heading in the correct direction. Not this green, though. That particular shade of green means creeper. We kind of need to cook some more rabbit again. We can maybe do that when we're closer to wherever it is we're supposed to be going. See, there's green down there, and that's where that bridge is. Or are the green stay in the clean? Sure, sure. Green does indeed mean go. Okay, this is a bridge we've not actually been across. This is the fun path which I had not found. Okay, um, we have a whole stack of terracotta from some place. More creepers. More skellies. Don't draw of those. Eat the food. What happened to the second one? It's right way over there. What the heck? <clears throat> Ten years. <clears throat> Uh, 
Okay. Um, they all just knocked each other off of ledges. And then walked across so I can knock them off of their ledges. And that's fine. Should probably have got Optifine back on this version again so I could zoom. That might have been useful. Never mind. Okay, more of these. Um, let's attempt to circle straight around and break that spawner. We did it. There's a proper actual staircase over in the next room. Okay. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Ugh. Alright, fine. You do that. You go ahead and just kill me. Not like I feel like I might be close to the fleecy box and kind of want to clear off this area before I close out the stream. Not like I now have to run all the way back again. And I'm still running out of pick. Never mind, never mind. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's not get stuck behind a wall. Reload. Just need to find a voice clip of Zigbar saying that. I'm sure there is one on YouTube somewhere. Just need to load that up on my phone or something and play it every time I reload the crossbow. I'm trying to do an impression, but I'm rubbish at impressions, so it's not. And say we didn't. And back down. And follow the green. Kind of very briefly looked down at the comment and then looked back up again and because I looked at it for such a short time my brain thought that word said Xbox. And I was confused about what Xbox sound you're talking about. Because I've never had one. X-Bow makes more sense. Mm, Xbox. Hello, another bridge. Okay, yeah, this is where we were. Um, where did we plonk down the smoker? Oh, I put it down somewhere near here. It's not in my inventory. I don't have all the food that I had. Where did I place it? Spider, have you seen a smoker? Do you know where I placed it? Aha, here it is. Well, it's quarter past, but I suppose I can go for a tiny bit longer and hope we find something. Um... Is the way with the staircase more likely to be the right way? Quite possibly. Let's try it. Oh, 
What's up the staircase? Creepers. What's past the creepers? Crossbows. What's past the crossbows? A chest. What's in the chest? A book. And some armour. And other cool things. There's another quick charge three bow. It already has a projectile in it. Cool. Reload. Okay, what else have we got? We have a helmet, we got leggings from somewhere, which again I've not actually put on yet. Quick charge one is useless because we've already got three quick charge threes. Let's just throw it back in the box, that's how useless it is. Um, let me grab those. Not get blown off the ledge by a creeper. We have more anvils. Um, let's swap that one back out again. Because giving these guys slowness is definitely more useful. I can also get stuck in the bamboo. That works for me. Um, anvils are not placed directly on top of sand. We have no pick. We cannot actually pick up the anvils. And there's no ready source of trees or stone that I have yet found in the map, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna get how I'm going to get another pick. All running. We don't need a pick for this one. There we go. Um, more husks. More husks. Let's see if we can't lure the creeper over here. There we go. There goes one more spawner. Um, what do we do about all of this? No idea. Probably we die. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> not entirely sure what to do about the pick. However, I have no idea how close we are. I still have not seen the fleecy box. This isn't the last wall of the map anyway, so we're definitely going into next stream, whatever happens. So this is probably as good a place as any to stop. Yeah, we, um... Did we drop any stone back at the monument? Hopefully. But that will do it for today. We shall continue and hopefully finish at least this area and move on to the next one. Tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And I shall see you soon. Reload. Pew. Or oh, something. Bows, bows, bows do not go pew. That is, that is not the noise that they make.